Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Max Code. Welcome to my channel and in this video we're gonna talk about the great power of PHP and it is functions. So okay, PHP comes with a huge box of functions but uh, we're gonna talk about first of all a custom defined function. So for example you want to create your function. Uh, what is uh, this function exactly? Well think of a function as a piece of code that you want to reuse again. So imagine we have a uh, some you know array one two three and then you have a for loop with a oh, now for each loop yeah we are kill guys as value and that call value. Okay let's just check that out. I'm sorry yeah just misspelled, forgot the equal sign, yeah, okay, works, absolutely, magnificent. So, but imagine we have a, an array B with a 4, 5, 10, unpredictable, yeah. And, well, I want to just use the same, I want to echo this code again. Yeah, that works pretty good, but, yeah, we want to execute this code. Yeah, works pretty good. One, two, three, then five, then four, five, ten. Okay, works pretty good. But what if I need to copy paste this this for each uh, five or ten or one hundred times? Well, it's not a good uh, practice because if you need to update, because for example, I want to add a new line here, and uh, I want to add a new line here too. So I want I need to add. A, uh, I need to change logic. I need to change my code in uh, two lines and this is just a simple example and if you have a huge project you can uh, you may need to update your code in uh, 10, uh, 100 or even 1000 uh, lines so well let's just reuse this code and uh, we want to create a function that prints uh, array yeah that's that's fine and we want to move this code right here so our function is gonna print an array and uh, we want to accept this v uh, this variable a because in this function we want to know what v what array we are gonna uh, loop through and uh, in this case uh, we pass uh, the first parameter of a function because inside the function we have absolutely no idea what kind of array we need to go through. So uh, let's just check this out printer dollar dollar a and the same for the dollar b and let's just check this out. Yeah you see it works absolutely outstanding. So uh, we have this for each only once and we if we want to update uh, this code this for each we want we need to update only one line so as you can see works pretty good uh, okay we reused this code and we can reuse it any further so we can create C and some array and uh, and use the same uh, uh, the same print print array here so we have our logic only in one place and in the function well, uh, important note is that function is is executed if and only if it is called. So if we are gonna comment these two lines and just uh, let it fire, we will see absolutely nothing because this function is defined but it is never called. That's why this code is never fired. Simply enough. So uh, I started a talk about the parameters of a function because inside the function we want to pass some arrays we want to loop through and uh, we, you know, you can define as many parameters as you want to. Uh, so we can say a second parameter, third parameter and just, uh, I don't know, let's just echo sec parameter and uh, uh, I don't know, let's just name it heading to to make sense because this is a great way to name your variables to make sense and in this case we want to uh, say that heading is the array array dollar a not not just 
Okay, we will talk about the quotes a little bit later. Array, uh, uh, first array, okay, yeah, first array. Yeah, so we echoes our heading first, then loops through our array passed as the first parameter. So you can define as many parameters as you want, $q, $q2, and you know, many more. So, okay, but uh, you also can uh, have a default value for this parameter. And I wanna say some array. Uh, so, uh, what, you know, what, what does that exactly mean? If this uh, second parameter, in, in our case, second parameter, is not passed, we will use this default value. So, uh, okay, imagine we we forgot or maybe just don't want to pass a heading when we uh, loop through the second array. So, okay, in this case, first call of a printer R function, we passed a heading first array and the second, you know, if we fire it second time with a dollar $B array and we pass no heading, we will use this one summary okay it is here uh, so you're not allowed to you know to lose some must-have uh, function parameters and uh, let's just check this out uh, too few arguments as you can see PHP fatal error too few arguments to function print are null passed and at least one expected so at least one expected and uh, so you can omit the default parameters and uh, you must pass uh, the must have parameters which have no default values. So uh, in PHP you must uh, place all your parameters that, are, that have their default values at the end. So you're not allowed to do like this. So this is not allowed, not allowed. So this is not allowed and this is not going to work. But if you specify some default, this is this is cool. So this is going to work. So you can do it, but you cannot do this. So uh, put all your parameters that require uh, default some, some default value at the end of your function. So okay, uh, this is basically the the main idea of a function. And uh, well, another one uh, we want to maybe return some uh, value so we can uh, just have some uh, small. I don't know. Let, let's just imagine we want to sum our array. So array. Yeah, you may say that uh, PHP has a built-in function for summing array, but okay, just for for an example, sum array. And uh, we want to say sum equals null and we for each array as item and just say sum, uh, just add an item to that. And now we want to return sum from this function. So this function, uh, you know, is just echoes absolutely nothing. It just sums these, uh, all items from this array and returns a sum. So let's just check this out. Let's just comment these things out and say echo uh, sum array and pass an A. And let's just see this. Yeah, this is 6 because 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 6. So uh, this is the main idea that uh, we have uh, a function that is going to return some uh, value you know, based on some, uh, I don't know, logic calculations right here. And, uh, you know, uh, one more time, uh, this array sum function uh, is just a simple example. And uh, if we talk about PHP, you know, just uh, maybe moving forward, we, PHP has a function array sum and uh, you can maybe, we will probably use it later, but for now, uh, this is just a simple example. And if you really need to, you know, again, uh, sum your array, just use the array sum. So use this function and uh, treat this code just an example. Uh, so, well, okay. And uh, next, you know, I just want to show you some 
absolutely small built-in functions in PHP. I, I told you that PHP comes uh, with a huge box of built-in functions and uh, in, you know in this video we're gonna maybe cover only a few of them. So uh, what if we want to see how many elements uh, we have so we can see that uh, three elements so this is basically uh, the amount of the elements in this array so we can say okay we have a only four elements right here or maybe or maybe uh, a little bit more elements seven elements okay perfect and uh, well just another example of this is a hello world hello world string and we want to uh, see that uh, what is the length of this stuff yeah it's 13 characters uh, yeah, it's a little bit tricky with the aster LAN because PHP has a built-in multi-byte aster LAN, but I don't want to overhelm you at the current station. We will talk about it a little bit later, just for now. Uh, so I showed you built-in functions. I showed you how to create your uh, custom function, how to pass parameters, how to uh, you know uh, pass some default parameters, how to assign default values to some parameters, how to return some stuff from your function. And well, uh, this is very important because functions uh, are really used to reuse your code and in my opinion it's one of the most important parts in uh, almost every programming language and PHP in particular. So make sure you got the point uh, from this video and if you have any questions please uh, ask them in the, in the comments below. Thank you for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.